Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna be working with for loops. And to kind of keep it simple, we're just gonna use for loops to count. So for this first one, we want to count from zero to four. And the way that we're gonna do that is by using a for loop. And we are going to write it like this. All right, so we always start with the word for, and then we need a variable after that. So this variable i, is just a variable that we can use inside of our for loop. This can be any word that you want. That's not like a keyword. So not like in or something like that, but you can call it uh, blah if you wanted to. Most of the time people use I because I stands for index, which we'll learn when we get to lists. But we have four I in range and the range is going to be, well, we have if we have one number that we pass in as a parameter, it's just going to be the ending number. So it always starts, always starts at zero. We can also start it and end it by giving it two parameters, or we can do a start end and what we want it to count by if we give it three parameters. So for this one, since it always starts at zero, if we give it one parameter, we can do the one parameter and then we it's got to give it the end value. So for this first one, why don't we just try four? And then we just want to print the I value. So the first time through the loop, I is going to hold zero. Then it's going to come down here and it's going to go ahead and print zero. And then we, and then it's going to come back up here and it's going to increment it again because it still hasn't hit in that range end of value. So if we run this, we get zero, one, two, and three. Notice that it didn't print four, even though we have four as the number here. So we just have to remember that four is the ending number, but it doesn't actually go to four. Well, it goes to four, but I never gets the value of four. It only goes up to three. So there we go. We did the first one. For the next one, we're going to do the same idea for I in range. And then since we are not starting at zero, we're going to give it two parameters. So one comma. And then since we wanted to end at four, we're going to put a five there. Oops. We need to change this one up here. That also needs to be a five. And then we're going to go ahead and print I again. So start at one and at five, but don't use the five. Sure enough. One, two, three, four. All right. For the next one, it says I want to do zero to four, but I want to count by twos. Since I want to count by twos, I have to use this last one where we have three parameters. Because if we just use two parameters, it would do a start end. Or if we just use one parameter, it'd just be an end. So I have to use all three. So four, uh, let's do, actually let's do four X in range. Just to change things up. And we're going to start at zero. We're going to go all the way to four. We're going to put a five there and we want to count by two. And then if we do print X, we get zero, two, and four. So it skips. And for the last one, we want to count from three backwards to negative one. So we're going to do four I in range. And then our starting value is three. We're going to go all the way down to negative one. So usually we went one more than what we wanted to print out. So maybe we go down to negative two and then we want to count backwards. So we're going to go negative one. Let's see if that actually does what we want it to do. Now, if we run this, it goes three and it goes down to negative one. So just remember that if you go backwards, make sure that you put it as a negative here. So this is the intro to how four loops work. And we're going to actually use the same setup to go ahead and work with lists later on because lists, their index starts at zero. So the first item in a list is zero, which works perfectly for something that looks like this, where it always starts at zero. If we just put a number that ends. Nice job learning how to repeat code using a for loop. Next up though, we want to make it even better by using a for loop with lists. You're like the best of cousins. You guys can do that right over here. Or if you guys don't know how to use lists, or if you want to delete items from a list, right over here. All right. Happy coding. Bye.